Welcome back. We're going to play 10 minute games as we typically do, uh, playing against the random opponent pool, and we'll see how things go. Uh, last time I had aspired to play Central File Rook and actually got to play it. Uh, today, maybe that could still be fun to do. Uh, I have not studied opposing Rook enough. Although I did observe that many opposing rook tactics are quite sharp. So maybe... I don't know if that'd be best for my first game, but... Good luck. But yeah, maybe we'll throw in opposing rook somewhere in this sequence of games. Interesting. You know... Why not? <laughs> there are reasons why not, but, um... Okay, so here, if I remember correctly, I can just attack like this. And I'm immediately threatening an attack against the king, therefore they have to drop this pawn. And I think this is a playable situation. Um... Now, I don't want my king stuck in the center, so I should take some care to not leave it forever there. Um, a rook exchange here, or a bishop exchange, does not favor me, as fun as it looks. But my opponent's not prevented me from doing this. Huh. Bishop exchange is much more interesting than it looks at first. Uh, although they will have to bring the silver up, and I don't have anything decisive there. Yeah, plus I need to defend this point. But now it's really appealing. Um, this might be my last chance to force it here. Okay, you've got my curiosity. One of these days we'll find the right timing for this move. <laughs> so the fun bit about this is that after a bishop exchange occurs, bishop drop 5-5 five five sets off tactics. Um, okay, so this prevents bishop drop 5-5. Five five. Fair enough. Um... If I do exchange here and then drop the bishop and I retreat it and then pull it back, I can swing at this rook a couple times. But there's probably better uses of Tempe here. Um, let's try to not get massacred over here. So I'm going to protect the square immediately in front of the rook. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. But here... <laughs> hopefully my tactics prevail. Um, I'm not totally sure. I should not have launched this attack in the first place, but it's kind of fun. Further, I should not have done this pawn exchange. Uh, pawn exchange is worse than just hitting the knight directly. Um... But, I got excited. Okay, we're going to build this castle. Because it's really fast to build. Normally, I would try to build half Mino or something more solid still. Uh, okay. So our game is slowing down. I can think about other shapes here. Um, if I bring up my silver, they trap it, so I should not do that. Um, I can give my king this escape, which eventually I'll probably use. Um...
It's not so clear what I do next. Nanafun. I could offer this pawn exchange in order to better make use of my silver general. Hmm. Yeah, okay, this has risks for sure, but being able to attack their king more or less directly seems appealing. Although, if pawns in hand, they'll be able to hit the head of my bishop and force it to where... force it to one of two places, either forcing this exchange or hitting the knight. Arguably, again, I should have just hit earlier, but oh well. Um, okay. If I take this... think this is okay. Um, <laughs> hmm. We have three pawns in hand. This is really asking for it, but, like, what else can I do, right? Um, interesting. This is not the direction I originally had in mind, but okay. We'll make it work. This blocks their silver and blocks their bishop. But uh, they do have tactics in mind. Um, interesting. That's sharp. I can hit the silver directly. And then they offer an exchange. I should hit the knight because this rook is a bigger target than the silver. Go for it. Sure, they hit my bishop. Um, now we get to play the move that we should have played forever ago. And things are okay. But if I'd played this move a long time ago, I would have been in a better spot than I am right now. But, you know, where I'm at right now is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. We've prevented their rook from promoting, and we have some tactics of our own here. Um, If they take... okay. So, yes, pieces are getting exchanged. Right now they've taken my rook, I've taken their bishop, my silver is outright hanging here. Um, and that's fine, I think. So I get to hit this rook, and then I'll be able to fork this silver and gold, or lance, um, 
and my opponent prevents me from doing that fork. Um, hmm. It feels like I should still have some kind of a fork available to me. Let's take that. I did debate this night drop, and I don't see an immediate positive result from it. Um, okay, I missed this. Hmm. Oh, right, they promote the rook back here, don't they? Well, it's still trapped. I might luck out. No, yes, I tend to do. Um. See, this token covers a lot of ground, but it doesn't cover everything. And it does partially occlude their rook's ability to move around, so... Oh! Something. Okay, right. Uh, this is how pieces move in Shogi. Um, hmm. That's an issue. Alright, uh... Well, what do we do now? That's not great. Um... Hmm. Alright, we'll do what we probably should have done earlier. This sucks. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um. Oh, I can't block that easily either. Okay, we'll try to defend. Hmm, strange. Oh, I can't take that. That's the point. Okay. Um... I'm just at a loss for ideas here. The silver is such an effective defensive piece that I need to remove it. And I'm still attacking the silver here. But yeah, this is a really, really, really bad sign, so... Mm-hmm. I mean, I could try to block this. It's not going to be a very effective attempt. Um. Hmm. 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 
30秒20秒An empty thread, but Juvio. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the game. Nicely played. I deserved that. Tactics are hard, but if I keep at it with that opening, eventually I'll get a position that I'll understand. It'll just take many, many, many losses before I finally get the hold of it. Good luck. Hmm. Interesting. In general, what I've just played a second ago here is not recommended. Oh. Okay, so yeah, not just in general, but even here. Yeah, this is not profitable for me to give up my center pawn. Um... I keep coming up with justifications to do it, and they just aren't worth it. Um, no matter how many times I find these positions exciting, uh, the excitement dies down once I've given up my main attacking piece. So I need to think about that and find some something else that's exciting in this opening besides just the crazy move. Um, yeah, the pawn on 5-5, five five, the vanguard pawn, is a very strong piece. And yes, it comes under fire. But that doesn't mean it's worth giving up. Um, I've confused my opponent because, yeah, I've given up my vanguard pawn. The pawn that is most effective at fighting against their force. Um... If I exchange, there's not some severe weakness in their position. Uh, they prevent me from playing Kimuramino, which would have been nice to play. I'm not going to get to play full Mino because I played Central Fall Rook, so let's just put the gold over here and attempt to cut our losses on that. Alright. This diagonal still remains wide open. Hmm. Um... This is a good endgame move for me. Although it's not fantastic, but yeah. They're building Anaguma Castle. Um, because my attack is so slow. I don't know what to do. If I take, they'll play gold takes. Uh, which might be fine. I need to start an attack somehow. And this seems to be the main way I'm capable of... Oh. Okay, they break up their castle. I don't understand. Hmm. 
but fine. You can play this shape. Um, this castle's much stronger if it's not broken, but okay. I've been debating dropping a pawn in the center. Still debating it. It doesn't get me very far. Um, yeah, their knight here supports an attack. Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting shape. I guess there's even a sticker for it. Checking the overlay looks fine. Um, okay. I don't want to open the diagonal to my king. But I do want to put pressure against their castle somehow. So there's some balance to be struck there. Um, we might move my knight out through the edge of the board. I'm a bit doubtful as to whether... Well, if I play it right now, yeah, they can attack my knight's head. I don't have a strong counterattack to that. Um, in general, I'm getting strangled here. Well, I said I don't want to uh, open the diagonal to my king. I might not have much of a choice. But also, my king doesn't have to sit on this diagonal. I can move it there. I have to attack in some direction. Again, attacking from the castle is verboten. It's bad idea in general, but I like I need to attack somehow. I can't just sit defending forever. And my opponent seems intent on blo blocking most of my attacks, so this seems like the best direction I can find to attack. Go <laughs> Fun. Having a plan can be better than having no plan. So, I have a plan. But, um... I'm not super optimistic about it. The plan involves, once they do this exchange, drop this fork and, like, hope that it works out. Um, okay, so they're not even allowing that plan. They see it and they say no. 
So we'll attack this way instead. And this doesn't look great at all. Oh, shoot. I have a bishop drop right there. Bishop drop right there would have been very interesting. Now we have a complicated position. All right. Um... No, I don't have this. The pawn takes. I can see one move tactics. Sometimes. Um. Hmm. Fine. You win. It's not where I wanted to put the bishop, but it's on the correct diagonal. So there is a serious problem, though, like the head of my king is vulnerable. And I don't know what to do other than just let that vulnerability sit there. I don't think they had to make that exchange immediately. I think it could have profited them to delay that pawn takes knight just a little bit longer. Well, they could have done this first. But anyway, here we are now. I assume they're going to take my pawn. Ah, oh, clever. That makes sense. Um... Hmm. <laughs> strange, strange night drop, but this is my king we're talking about. The king's worth it. Thumping.
Okay. How ridiculous of a position can I get? Nifun. My position's bad. But not all hope is lost yet. Oh. Yeah, thanks for the game. Nicely played. Yeah. It somehow I lost my attention span toward the end there. And that cost me the game, but they played nicely throughout. Good luck.
I think I lost a tempo playing this way. I've done this before. Maybe sometime I'll get the hang of this. Maybe. Well, I said one tempo. It's possible I've lost more than one here, actually. Alright, so I make some attempt to defend my king. Maybe this time I build a solid castle before launching into an enormous attack. Okay. <laughs> that said, this is an interesting shape, is it not? Um... Hmm. But okay, I can play more patiently. I don't have to rush things. Time is on my side. I've played other board games where it can be very difficult to get an initiative unless you very aggressively pursue it from the first move of the game. Um... And sure, in Shogi, every tempo matters, but you don't go about winning a game by just asserting that you want to win it. Hmm, okay, I need to defend this. <laughs> I've been prone to this bishop fork for a few turns here. Um, see, if I play slightly more patiently, I'll still have opportunities to attack. Mm -hmm. If I exchange bishops and then take here... This looks profitable. I'm sorry. But, like... What have I missed? I can get my bishop trapped, and that's not bad. But I don't have to trap my bishop, do I? Uh, do I drop it on 5-5, five five or do I drop it on Okay. Maybe there's something more than meets the eye here. Um, the gold defense is silver. I forgot about that. That's the thing I missed. Um... This still is of some interest. So my bishop might be able to promote close to the castle. Yeah, that's a fork. 
It's a good fork. It's very effective. Um, okay, so they get a rook, I get a bishop. Seems to be the way this goes. What can I do with two bishops? Well, this is one thing I can do with two bishops. I promise I was not trying to set a trap like this, but um, I'll just be an opportunist about this because it happens to be there. But yeah, I was not trying to set a trap. I was honestly trying to find ideas when suddenly that just emerged out of nowhere. Um, and of course I'll take it. But Go <clears> Hmm. <throat> Okay, we've gained multiple pieces. They can fork my king. Oh. Um, they can fork my king and bishop, but they have not done so yet. I could just drop the rook there. I should have done that. Okay. Well. Um... I'm not totally sure where we're at right now. Um, but if we were keeping score, I think I have more pieces than my opponent. So I think I'm doing better here. Thanks, David. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of a glass cannon today, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I've been there when where my opponent's at. No disrespect to my opponent. Um, it, it's a fun website to play on, and if you play sharp games, sharp things will happen from time to time. I tend to have these experiences where sometimes I'll get a winning position early, but more often, in the long term, I'll just get a very difficult position and be unable to defend it. So when I get these positions where fireworks do result, it looks impressive, but I need to work on my game being more stable overall. Uh, regardless, yeah, hopefully this is a learning experience. I'll have to look over my opposing rook game again and see, uh, just gradually, step by step, bring it forward into something that I can um, profit from. So yeah, even though I don't do the post-game analysis on the video here, hopefully um, you recognize that I am still doing it, and I think I'm learning something from it, although it hasn't shown yet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.